Don't press the button. Okay, so recently when I was replacing the blend door actuator, which is quite a job, you gotta take the airbag out and everything else, uh, it was a job. You also take off this trim piece right here. It comes off real easy. And as you can see, it includes the trunk button. All Crown Victoria police interceptors have a trunk button prominently right in the middle of the car because in case of emergencies, police officers need to be able to get into the trunk quickly. So they just press this button, the trunk pops, and they can get their emergency equipment out. That's why that button is there, and that's why it's so prominent. Okay, when I took this trim piece off before, I found out that there was two connectors that can fit onto the trunk button uh, switch. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you what those two connectors can do. Then you have this connection, which is for your trunk release. And then you have this connection, which is, uh, um, hmm. this unknown connection. This is an unknown connection. Uh, we have no idea where it goes. Hmm. That's very, that's exactly the same plug. Which plug goes in? <laughs> I don't know. Um, you know, I, I don't know. That's interesting. We're gonna have to figure this out. Let's put keys in the ignition. Okay, fans on. We don't want that. Okay, let's see what this does. Okay, opened up the trunk. Very nice. Let's put this one in. Okay, this one that says ignition, let's see what happens when I press the button. It opened the trunk. Okay, so they both opened the trunk. Now I would suggest that one opens the trunk on ignition, which is where I'm at now, and the other one might open the trunk at any time. Let's find out. Car is completely off. Pop the trunk, and it does. Okay, so we learn something new every day with these cars. With this plug, when you press this button, it opens up the trunk no matter what, whether you have a key in the ignition or not. While this one, you have to have the key in the ignition. This one's probably a little safer, but this is very convenient. So I'm gonna leave it like that. So I can pop the trunk anytime, including if I'm on the highway going 100 miles per hour. It'll be fun. All right, so you can see that you can have the trunk button any way you want in your Crown Vic. You can have it turn work just with the ignition on, or you can have it work at any time you want. And also in this video, I'm gonna find out whether or not the trunk button operates when the car is moving or not. Uh, a lot of modern cars have computer systems that stop that from happening in the name of safety. But I'm thinking in the Crown Vic uh, police interceptor case, it might be different. So I'm going to find out. All right. <clears throat> Driving my 2008 Crown Vic police interceptor. Uh, you gotta love it. But we're here for a reason. We're going to find out if I press the trunk release button. Will the trunk release? while the car is driving, while the car is in motion. Okay, we're driving on the road. As you can see, I'm gonna press the button. Here we go. And did it open? Let's find out. Let's find out. <sighs> yes, as you can see, it opens. All right, there you have it. The trunk opened when I pushed the button. I kind of thought it would. Uh, this is a police vehicle after all, and it might be necessary in an emergency to open the trunk even while the car is still in motion. All right, so now you know the answer to a question that you probably never asked. You're welcome. Okay, thanks for watching Photo Mike's Garage. I will see you next time.